to a story that we'll see us sort of compare what we have here in Kenya and in the Netherlands, especially when it comes to port facilities. Well, the Rotterdam port in the Netherlands holds the record as the most efficient port in Europe. A reporter, Felu Keitani, visited the port and tells us what the port of Mombasa can learn from this European giant in terms of effective cargo handling and ship docking. The port of Rotterdam is one of the oldest and largest seaports in Europe. The port, which was the world's busiest port from 1962 to 1986, has now been overshadowed by Asian ports such as Singapore and Shanghai. The Rotterdam port is considered to be a strategic important distribution point in Europe as it is surrounded by Europeans highly populated and industrialized centers, the German Ruhr district, Paris and London. This port works uh, on different um, factors. We have uh, dry bulk, wet bulk, uh, containers and uh, break bulk. The facility has optimum accessibility thanks to its favorable geographical position right on the North Sea and on the mouth of the River Rhine. The terminals are directly adjacent to the sea waters and can be accessed from the sea quickly and safely without the need of sea locks. This allows vessels to be unloaded and loaded on time so that they can be on their next destination quickly. So here you see the different container terminals. We are actually at Mass Flux uh, 2, which, is, which has all the big container terminals uh, in Rotterdam. In comparison to the port of Mombasa, Rotterdam has expanded to a new outer port, increasing the area covered and goods handled, while Mombasa had little expansion from the old port in Kilindini, which is smaller and handled less cargo. We have about 18,000 uh, reefer plugs, which is, makes it uh, the biggest reefer port in the world. And um, we have a great connection to the rest of Europe. Rotterdam has advanced technologically in providing services at the port faster and more effective while Mombasa has limited expansions in technology, making services to be slow. Also, Rotterdam exports mainly manufactured goods and chemicals, while Mombasa ports cargo, which exports mainly agricultural products and minerals. Despite its ideal location, the port of Rotterdam has a river canal, road, railway, air, pipeline transportation to the interior interland, while Mombasa relies on road, railway, air and pipeline transportation to the interior of the interland. We get uh, ships from all over the world, uh, the biggest container ships up to uh, 22,000 uh, TU, uh, which can enter here 24-7. Although Kenya's port of Mombasa is looking to increase capacity through Lapset, one of the things that set the port of Rotterdam apart is that it has a tank storage capacity of over 30 million cubic meters, crude oil storage capacity of 12 million cubic meters, and mineral oil product storage capacity of 6.7 million cubic meters. These are just by the aspect that Kenya can borrow to join the league of some of the most effective ports. The Kenya Ports Authority can be able to learn a lot from the port of Rotterdam, which is ranked as the ninth biggest port in the world and the biggest port in Europe. This port has been able to achieve one of the best level of efficiency that even its peers in Europe are still struggling to meet. Philip Keitan, KTN News.